Hey there, YouTubers. Uh, I'd like to start by saying Happy Happy New Year. Um, hope everybody's okay and your family's okay. So, with the coronavirus um, spreading, um, a lot of people are working from home now. So, I thought I would create a um, short video showing you different ways that you can use the RD Web client. So, and this is not for setting up a server. So, the server would get set up by your team at your, you know, wherever you're employed. Um, for example, I work for a, um, a small hospital and we have an RD Web client that we provide a link to our to our users and they can go home, they can open up Internet Explorer like I have here and they can type in or copy and paste a link and it'll bring them to the remote desktop services default connection. This information here, the domain username, that'll be based on what your company provides you. But you'll notice when you log into it from here that you're going to have to um you're going to have to put in your username and password several times if you have multiple applications um so what i'm going to show you is how to use remote app and it, it it's already pre-installed on all computers pretty much um you know, window. Most people are using seven, eight, and ten. So if you if you are, just type in remote app, and then you'll see that pop up. And then you can click access remote app, and then this will pop up here. Or you can just type in access remote app in a search, and click on it, and this will pop up again. Or you can just type in control panel, click on control panel, and then you should see remote app in the list here, remote app and desktop connection. And then it'll bring you to the access remote app and then back to here. So anyways, once you get to the access remote app and desktop, you're going to take that same link that you used here. You're going to take that same link and you're going to apply it to let's get to the right spot you're going to apply it to here so you see down here is where it says https colon two forward slashes um contoso.com um you're gonna you're gonna keep the contoso.com forward slash rd web feed so you're going to take the Katoso out and you're just going to add your your link in there so it's going to be https colon forward slash forward slash and then you're going to put in whatever your link is now so it just might be rd web something um what, whatever your your organization gives you And then you're just going to copy after that. So once you put in the um, the link that you used online on Internet Explorer, you're just going to copy the rest of it. You're going to go RD Web slash feed slash web feed dot ASPX. So you're basically just copying this down here, and then you're just going to click Next. If, if you typed it right and everything's correct, you should, um, it should go to add your resources, but you are going to get a pop-up asking for your credentials again, and you're going to have to put, um, put that in, and that's going to be the same credentials that you would use on the online version within Internet Explorer. And then I would suggest cl clicking Remember Me and then click OK. And then once this adds, you should have um, another box up that will say one will say finish and the other one should say um, uh, resources. So view resources, you'll see right here where it says view resources. Um, so what I would suggest is you click the view resources. You don't you don't have to because I'm gonna I'm gonna show you that these once this is complete, if you go into your um, start menu, you're gonna see 
that it adds it right to um, right to your start so you can click in here and they're all right here but what I like to do is I like to take and come over here and once you have this open you can close this stuff out you, I like to take and right click create a new folder Apparently my new folder disappeared somewhere. Oh, that's right. I forgot I have my uh, desktop hidden. But what I would normally do is I'd go Control A, and then I would copy, and then I would go to Desktop into my new folder, and I would go Control V. That way they're all in there, and but you can take individual ones so say you just want um you know one of them you can just you don't necessarily have to have a folder i guess is what i'm saying you can put these right on your desktop if you want if that makes it easier for you but then these will all be just um these will just be all single sign-on now so you won't have to go ahead and put your password in every time you'll just click connect and it should just open for you um but keep in mind like i said this has to be a link that's provided to you by your company and um has to be a viable link that's set up and you should be able to uh you should be able to easily get in and it'll be a single sign-on so um well hopefully this helps someone um go ahead and leave me a comment in the description or in the uh the comment section below and you know please like and subscribe and and, and share if this helps you at all all right thanks a lot and uh, happy new year